Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Anime Defenders video. In this video, I will be covering the top 10 must-have units in Anime Defenders. Some units are unobtainable, meaning you have to buy or trade for them. This list won't include secret units, so players like myself who lack a secret, don't worry, this is all about mythics. This list is for units you want to pull for whenever they appears on banner. But if you do find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. With that being said, let's get right into the video. At number 10 is Rockstar or Bloomer. They are both farm units. The number 9 spot is going to be Prime Garp himself. In update 0, he was the best mythic, full LE and stuff. But now he got dethroned by a couple new units. Don't get me wrong. He's still a solid unit, but the other full OE is a higher priority. And yes, he's better than Elf Hero. To obtain Prime Guard, you pull him from Standard. This banner. He's still solid, but not a high must-get unit. For the number 8 must-have unit, is a unit that nobody cared about too much. Even myself, but mainly because I use hybrids. Let me show you the unit real quick. I upgraded the guild so it has 14 slots. So if y'all down to join, let me know in the comment section. Only drop your ID and I will invite you. Here, the number 8 spot is Sharpshooter. The reason why she made the list is because when now have her enemies, I don't really know too much about her because I have her unevolved. If they don't add any new hill unit in update 3, she will probably stay meta. So having a hill unit to carry in raids, Tower of Eternity, and Story she is there. To obtain Sharpshooter, she is a standard banner unit. So this banner. Our IQ wasn't shiny, so Komenin at the number 7 spot is no other than a meta support. In order to get him, you have to trade or buy. He went away recently, so you can find him easily. The reason why he's a must get is because he slows, and he basically hit air enemies. He does decent damage, but players mostly use him for the slow. He will probably stay meta until a new support unit is released. If you want him just server hope trade lobby, probably around 10,000 gems. For the number 6 spot, is going to be Warrior Queen. She was released the same time as Donut Master. First of all, she was the Garp replacement, with a placement limit of 4, full OE, with a way lower SPA than Garp. To obtain her, you need to buy or trade for her. Really good damage. Nothing much to say otherwise from that. If we're ranking by full LE, she's the third best. Alright, on to the number 5 must have. Curse King is one of the best unit in the game. First of all, he's one of the two bleed unit in game, not to mention he's hybrid. And in my opinion, he's top 1 or 2 for raids. If you're wondering why you need a bleed unit, all I can say is that it's to prevent health regen. He's from Standard Banner as well. For the fourth must-have mythic, is one of the current limited banner units. He's no other than... Monster Sorcerer, he's probably the third highest DPS in game, which is quite good. Only thing he's not a full OE unit, I would say medium line, that multi hits. Currently with Sonic he has a 4.7 seconds PA. At max upgrade don't quite remember, just check out my showcase videos. It's on the channel. This is the thumbnail, so you won't get lost. I do recommend getting him if you. By the way if you made it this far. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. On to the top 3 must have mythical. Please note that these 3 isn't in any specific order. So if you want to get one first, then the other it's up to you. Even 
Anyways for number 3, is going to be Muscular Sorcerer, who's currently the best full OE in the game. If you're comparing Warrior Queen, Garp and Muscular Sorcerer, he's the best. I did a comparison video recently as well. If you want to see stats go check it out. Thumbnail for the video. For number 1 and 2 it's a bit difficult. I currently don't own one of the units, but he's full of OE. Anyways I'ma do it like this. Numb to spot goes to Flame Dragon God. Currently the only mythic that does burn damage. He's hybrid and got a 4 placement. He's a standard banner unit. Getting him should be too hard. And highly recommended for raids. He currently got the highest DPS in game as well. So he isn't a bad choice. Now for the number 1 must have mythic. Is actually going to be a raid unit. Which is the best bleed unit. Due to being full OE. And he bleeds. That's why I put him higher than Flame Dragon God. And I heard he's hybrid as well. So y'all see where I'm going with this. I'm currently trying to drop him in raids. But it looked like I probably have to buy the unit. Currently got this amount of coins. You can probably buy Water Swordsman. But I don't really see him as needed. Probably test him or ask around for more info. Anyway I hope this was helpful. If you have anything to add please let me know. I do reply to the comments. And hopefully, update 3 is this weekend coming. Peace out. By the way a quick shout out to the new viewers. And the concurrent viewers. Here is a preview of the upcoming video.